Hello, and welcome to our channel where we explore the world of Odoo. When you're running a store, there might be times when you want to change your store receipt. Perhaps you wish to add seasonal greeting messages or incorporate thank you notes for your customers. The good news is that the standard POS app in Odoo 18 can do this. You just need to enable the custom header and footer and add your messages there. However, what if you're looking to go beyond these basic changes? What if you want to change the format of the receipt or are tired of updating the seasonal greeting message every time the season changes? If so, then you'll need a custom module for it. In this video, we'll explore how you can create custom receipt templates for the POS app in Odoo 18. If you're new to this, I highly recommend watching my quick guides on the basics of developing Odoo modules first, as it will help you understand this video better. Let's get started. As with every other Oda module and app that features a user interface, the Oda POS app also uses OWL. This means we can customize components in the POS app using the same techniques as we would for any other OWL component. And yes, this applies to the order receipt component, which is responsible for rendering the receipt. Since we know the order receipt component is an OWL component too, we can extend it just like we would with any other OWL component. The only thing we need to figure out is how to make it dynamic. In other words, how to have our component use templates from arbitrary XML. Fortunately, all provides two methods which can help this requirement. The first uses a dynamic component and the second employs dynamic templates. We'll explore both of these methods. Let's create the module and the necessary supporting parts first. As usual, we start by creating the manifest file the initial directory structure, and the corresponding init files. For the custom receipt templates, we introduce a new model called POS Receipt Template with two fields, the template name and the XML template itself. To pass this record to the POS app, we also inherit the POS load mixin for our class and override both the load POS data domain method so that only the selected template is passed for the corresponding POS instance and the load POS data fields method to tell Odoo which fields are to be passed to the POS instance. We also add two new fields to the POS config model, one for the selected template and another for specifying the generation method, either using a subcomponent or a subtemplate. These fields are then linked to the res config settings. Next, we override the load POS data models method of the POS session model to include our POS receipt template model in the list of models loaded into the POS app. Finally, we set the access rights for the POS receipt template model to group POS manager, meaning only users in this group will be able to modify the templates. We then create the views for the POS receipt template model and modify the res config settings view to include the new fields. Let's return to our custom order receipt. We create a new component that extends the order receipt component and name it custom order receipt. In the setup method of the custom order receipt component, we first register the selected template to the available template list of the POS app. To render the receipt using dynamic subcomponents, we use an anonymous class that extends the order receipt component and sets the template to our selected template. We then use this class with the T component directive. For rendering using dynamic subtemplates, we simply include the selected template name on the custom order receipt template using the tcall directive. Finally, we need to swap out the order receipt component for our custom order receipt component. This time, I only patch the print receipt method of the POS store class and replace the order receipt component in the receipt screen component.
And there you have it, two methods that allow custom receipt templates. Before we end this video, let's cover a couple of notes. Firstly, while it's possible to load dynamic templates for receipts as demonstrated in this video, modifying these templates requires technical knowledge, so it's not advisable to give access to the templates to regular users. Secondly, the order receipt component is used and or extended by several other modules, such as POS Restaurant or POS Loyalty. If you plan on modifying the order receipt component and also plan to use these modules, be sure to consider how those modules interact with the order receipt component too. Thank you for watching. If you found it helpful, please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can stay up to date with all of my experiments and tutorials.